Right now at 10, a predator on the loose. He sexually assaulted a 10-year-old girl on her way to school. The third grader was just a block away from school when the man attacked. It happened near 15th in place in Orchard on Milwaukee's south side. Witnesses heard screams for help and came running. Steve Shamra spoke with them tonight. Steve. Carol and Mike, uh, witnesses tell us this little girl was approached by a man about 300 pounds, at least four to five times her size. He forced himself on her, overpowered her, and assaulted her just steps away from her school. In homes near the corner of 15th Place and Orchard, it was the sound that brought people to their windows. You heard it first this morning? Yeah, I heard screaming. Andrea Gallegos heard one of her neighbors trying to chase off a man who had a young girl pinned. It was around 8.45 this morning in this driveway hidden by a line of garbage cans. A 10-year-old sexually assaulted and told by her attacker to keep quiet. The little girl said that the, the guy had threatened to kill her if she was screaming. So I'm supposing she stayed real quiet, you know. It was the screaming from neighbors, they say, scared that attacker away. A large man, 5'11 and 300 pounds. He was last seen running north on 15th Place towards Greenfield Avenue. With him gone, women came out of their homes to comfort that child, clearly traumatized by what had just happened. She was holding the little girl and trying to calm her down. And um, that's when she told me what had happened. And the little girl just got hysterical all over again hearing it, you know. Police are not saying much about this case, except it's being handled by the sensitive crimes department. If anybody knows anything about who this guy is, the rest to call detectives here at District 2. Live on the South Side tonight, Steve Shamraz, today's TMJ4. Yeah, very disturbing. Thank you, Steve. Again, the suspect, a black or Hispanic male with a dark complexion. He's in his late teens, 5'11 and about 300 pounds. He was wearing a red baseball cap and a dark hooded jacket and dark pants. So let's hope that we can help police track this guy down. This comes just